Well, I mean, I think first you focus on fundamentals and you have to make them comfortable. And I think they're comfortable when they know what they're doing. So you spend a lot of time sort of building in the systems that you're going to. I mean, we started big. I mean, I think we covered a lot of the big stuff first. And then we'll go back and we'll focus on the small stuff that will make them successful within it. Um, and I think the biggest part of building the confidence within a young group is to make sure that they are communicating well with each other, uh, which is something that you know women have to work on. Um, and you know leadership roles change in different situations, and you know, we're getting better and better at that. I think the kids are willing to open up their mouths and sort of talk things out as they go versus after something happens, and I, I think that's a good sign. I mean, I, th I think first, um, uh, Sarah Albrecht did a really nice job of sort of preparing them and giving them a base fundamental to, to work from. Um, you know, and, and their, their fundamental understanding is pretty good. Uh, I think as the season went on, you could see people like Michaela Sear and Danielle, uh, Danielle Tetro, their, their confidence was growing. They were dodging a little bit harder. We saw that a little more in the fall. Um, and I think, you know, they're, they're, after spending a little bit more time together, they're, they're starting to get tendencies down and timing down. And I think that's going to help our feeding game. And they're pretty athletic. They like to attack. They're getting their confidence. Um, I think they have the potential, we still have some things to work on, but they have the potential to put a lot of points up. I mean, you have four kids who are gamed in, so to speak. Um, you know, they're, they're competing in the fall, so if they're freshmen, they've already gone through a season, they've already put the uniform on, they've already played Princeton, they've already played Yale. Uh, so in that way, I think it definitely helps. I mean, they have some of the, the jitters out. Um, you know, Mel is playing at a high level on the soccer field, and then she comes over to the lacrosse field. Um, so I, I, I think just the added competition and the, the ability to put a uniform on and actually play uh, helps us so they're not true freshmen when they arrive on the field. Um, and I think, it, you know, it, it's also good to have sort of an influx uh, come in in January, just adds a new dimension to practice and a little bit more competitiveness. and. I think it's healthy. I think it's healthy. I mean, there are a few drawbacks in that they don't have their stick in their hand and they're not working on skills, but, you know, at the same time, I think that the, there are more positives than negatives. It's always interesting to have, you know, changeover in staff. I, I think it's been good for the, the group um, in that, you know, I think Carla Gigan has a lot of goaltending experience. She was a very good goalie um, for the Syracuse team back in the early 2000s. Uh, and that's been very helpful to our keepers. I mean, you can see them getting better. You can see their confidence growing. I mean, there are just some things that if, unless you've played the position, you're not, um, you know, some of the nu nuances of the position are, you only know if you're a goalie. Uh, so I think that's been a tremendous amount of help. And I think Carla's really steady and calm and systematic and has a really good understanding of that, um, you know, you're only as good as, as your weakest link. And I think she's doing a good job of, of promoting a group mentality on the defensive side of the ball. And you can see them coming together and you can see them sort of catching people up so that they have depth. Um, and, and they're competing in practice. I mean, I think she's doing, you know, a great job of putting on a unit that says, okay, it's not just practice. We're gonna try to beat the offensive unit and we're gonna push them as hard as we can. Um, and I, I think she's added that dimension, which, which I'm happy about. Bridget and Jen, both excellent players in college. They're different types of players, but um, nice to have, you know, sort of some of the things that UNC did in practice, you know, coming into our practice. Same thing with Syracuse with, uh, you know, Bridget's experience with um, Gary. And, you know, she played, played for me for three years, but she also had him for two. And you could see some of the stick skills being blended into practice. and. Um, but I think the best thing about having those two guy, guys is that they can jump in and run with the kids and push them at a higher tempo. Um, and Bridget's very physical, which I think is good for the kids. Um, so they're seeing the game played at a top 10 level consistently and they have to play with it. I think, um, I mean, ideally you play a schedule, you know, in my mind that is, you know, it sort of prepares you for the NCAA tournament. And I think, you know, when you go into a season, you want to win the North, you want to win your conference, and then you want to sort of upset people out of region uh, to put yourself in a good position in terms of seating. And, you know, our schedule, I mean, that's the way it's built. It's tough. I mean, we have a young team, and it's going to be a tough, a tough schedule. But at the same time, I mean, 
to, to, to be successful in the Ivy League and to be successful nationally, you're going to have to have multiple opportunities to prove to yourself that you can beat those best teams. And as soon as you start to do it consistently, then you um, have arrived. I mean, then you're truly going to be a top 10 team. But you, you have to give your team chances to, to prove themselves against that kind of, of competition. Um, and, you know, Ivy League's not easy. I mean, every team's getting a little bit better. Every team was young last year, and I think we're going to see a lot of improvement uh, all the way across the board. And, um, you know, I, I think that playing the Virginias and the Hopkins and the Stanfords you know, prepares you to play Princeton and Penn and Yale. And, um, and I, 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 I like this group. I like the way they practice, and I like the way they take care of each other. And I think that uh, I think they enjoy tough competition. Uh, they're not afraid of it. And, um, you know, they don't overlook anybody, but they don't fear anybody either. And I think that's a good thing for the program.